Come on, show people you're a New Jersey fan. Come here. Look at this, my friend here. <laughs> hey? What do you think of the lockout? Oh, with, what, with the hockey? Yeah, the hockey. The jersey. Uh, you're wearing New Jersey. You know, that's a hockey team. I think the owners are uh, messed up. They, uh, they ruin all the sports with all these strikes and everything. Well, what do you think of Gary Batman then? I like him. Oh, you like him. What about Donald Fear, the, who's handling the player side of things? I like him also. <laughs> Who don't you like then? <laughs> the Rangers. All right. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Here in Canada, and they take the proceeds from the sale of poppies to assist veterans in need. Fans wearing referee costumes on Superhero Day. I guess you could say they dressed up hard. No, oh, they did. Not all they? heroes wear capes. No. Okay. <laughs> and look what we have here behind the Canadian's bench. <laughs> it's the night before Halloween. Lots of slashing will be going on. Excuse me, a baking powder? Well, this guy trumps everybody. Who knows what will be on the menu this evening as everyone is getting into the Halloween spirit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's not working tonight. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. You could tell it was deflected and goes right that, That's not our... where it ended, by the way. I understand. Yeah. What that, a great costume. That is a great costume. November takes on new mini with our fan of the night and a lot of kids. The Oilers. That's how I can get one. It's the only way I could get a bus. The Oilers snap their 17 game losing streak. Jack of the Box Center Mystery Report is coming up next. Brown jacket. Take a look. He's showing Tortorella pictures of himself from many years ago. And that gentleman has been doing it all yeah, night. And a very fast and excellent hockey team. What do you guys have to do to close this game out and get the win in the third? I think just keep playing our game. Coaches want us to play. A most unusual circumstance. Man on him almost immediately. We find this little guy just moments ago heckling relentlessly the Bruins at Nassau Veterans Memorial Coliseum. Look at him give it to David Pasternak, and here's the ultimate peace offering. <laughs> that may be the best thing I've ever seen as far as originality in a, in a costume. Uh, it's creative, isn't it? <laughs> they have fun here. The slash left side of the screen. There they are, tight knit in the penalty box here at TD Garden. Hendricks fought Port Ribeiro getting into an exchange with a Bruins fan. They almost scored upon. And then the fans were looking to have some good time with him. And he was he was just letting them know that maybe his girlfriend's more interested in him than him. EJ. I'll trade my sister for a stick. So EJ does the nice thing, signs a stick, gives it to him. But look what showed up tonight. He can't trace the train. Here's my <laughs> sister. <laughs> oh, Nash. Man. Come on, man. What's she going to do with it? Oh. oh. Don't laugh at each other. This is fan-on-fan this fan violence. He just is not right. You see here tonight, in the meantime, in the crowd here at Pittsburgh, <laughs> they're making the best of it, having a good time. <laughs> well, this guy started to get up and dance, and this is a regular, obviously, because the people were very, very happy. Well, you got to be very careful where that banister is, though, don't you? Yeah, you could have a serious accident here, <laughs> which could require an even further delay. That is, that is shaking your groove thing. That's maybe a little bit too much, but what the heck, you gotta have fun while you're here. Oh, well, somebody's coming up to join them, doing a little bit of a dance. Suffice to say, they, they are not getting this in the arenas that have no. full lighting. No, absolutely. So those of you who are <laughs> watching this one, you're getting it. This is bonus coverage. <laughs> well, they're trying to put the hex on Wolves. <laughs> There's a video warning before every game here at American Airlines Center. Yeah. So some guys just don't get the message, apparently. The <laughs> Bucks will fly into the stands. Well, Tim Thomas, before this game, was being jeered by the fans here. And of course, it all pertains to the earlier in January when Tim Thomas refused to go with his team to the White House. Oh, Ekman Larson thought about it. 
Gives it to Gagne. Shoots. He scores! And the Coyotes, for the second time on this road trip, have won it in overtime. brought out the costumes. Elmo, there's Batman and Batgirl. How about Fred Flintstone and Wilma Duckman? As the Halloweeners and trick-or-treaters are out here at the Prudential Center and the start of the second period here at The Rock after starting the season 3-0. After 10.30 out in Anaheim, which means after 12.30 in Chicago, after 1.30 here in the East. Somebody wake this kid up. Your night on ice isn't over yet. More free hockey is on the horizon. A third overtime period in Game 2 of the Western Conference Final is next. Being a game for a living. Uh, Keith reminding us that uh, I don't even want to know what I just Two saw. Two goals here in the second time for the Taco Bell Twitter poll. What's your favorite Halloween candy? This is a no-brainer, by the way. <laughs> Wrong country. It's not even close. Do you like candy corn? No? <laughs> Love candy. That's great. Scarf goes up as LaPierre got clipped in the neutral zone. It's Oscar Moeller. Oh, is it nine? Sorry. That's okay. <laughs> but I have time to tell you that tomorrow on Breakfast Television, it's April 1st. Will you be fooled by the BT crew? That could force the issue a little bit. Yes. People have been wondering what and when there would be a response to the heat hit. So watch here early on. Try to get some traffic in front of Jonathan Quick. Ta -ta! Ta -ta! Ta -ta! Tomas! Ta -ta! One thing's for sure, you never know what you'll see on live TV. Yeah, people who stuck around and watched the Carolina Hurricanes post-game show last night witnessed a cold crime play out. Watch the guy there in the white jacket. <laughs> Yoink! Grabs the other guy's ice cream cone, then takes a lick. We are living in a society, people. The thief tried to put it back, but the other guy turned around quickly and was up to the hijinks, so the fan made his getaway through the crowd with the ice cream. Whoops, busted. It probably cost $15. Right? <laughs> My God. Plus, oh. he, here's, here's the other thing. Not to, uh, who buys ice cream at a hot, it's already oh, cold, It's right? a year-round treat. Okay. <laughs>